What's going on guys? Matt here, back again with another video. Today we have a mail day, we're going to be featuring some cards that I've purchased over the past sort of months to month and a half uh, from the Aussie Facebook groups, um, not including my eBay USA sort of stuff because that will be in a separate video, but yeah, just some big, some nice purchases that I've been able to go through and I'll explain why I've purchased them, um, but yeah, let's just get started into it. So the first card that we will run through today, uh, this is going to be the last time I mention it, so I don't like being that person that, that talks about their wins and all that sort of stuff all the time, but... I did mention um, that I was a massive fan of Cat, or I didn't think I was. I didn't think he was going to win. In all seriousness, I actually thought he was value to win the three three, three point shootout in comparison uh, to his other uh, his other competitors. And he was paying thirteen dollars. And I suggested on my Insta story, I had a few people say to me, uh, like, you know, that's a bit of a wild card. I don't think that's going to happen. No chance and all that sort of stuff. So um, yeah, he ended up winning. So <laughs> and then I had a few people also send me bet slips as well. So that, that was good to see as well. If you did win, please do let me know on Insta by DM. I, I do love hearing about it. But actually, I got this card before before the shootout. Uh, this one was $200 Express. Uh, I thought this was a great purchase being a BGS 9.5 and then an auto, an auto 10. So actually at the time there were no comps, but uh, since then a comp has actually come out at $300 Aussie. So that was actually, you know, it's good to have a car that's already got up $100 based off the three point shootout. But I don't mind Cat as a sneaky little buy uh, based off, you know, Minnesota, I do think will make the playoffs. I don't know if they'll make the playing spot. I kind of, I know they're kind of bordering it at the moment, but you know, the West, the Western Conference is quite open. I think there are a few teams that, like, like the Utah Jazz, I still don't know, you know, whether they're going to be. They've been sort of in that position for a while now, um, and I feel like Minnesota has a chance to, you know, to. I wouldn't be surprised if they honestly made it to the Western Conference Finals. Uh, I'm not saying that they will, but I said, yeah, they wouldn't be. I wouldn't be surprised. Sort of like, yeah, compared to the Eastern Conference, Eastern Conference is ridiculously stacked at the moment, but. Yeah, I've just got some cat because I do think he's a sort of a relatively undervalued player, uh, averaging what twenty four and twelve or something like that. Uh, you know, hasn't really taken the next step which we would like, but still a great player. Uh, yeah, got this one for two hundred dollars Aussie. Another cat. So this is a beautiful one here. Uh, don't mind the, the, the plastic in the background sort of warped there, but BGS 10 on a die car. I thought this was really good value. I got this one for $400. Shout out to the Double Coverage boys because I, uh, if you guys watch my hobby hangout footage, I actually, funnily enough, was going through some of the cards that I was showcasing via B-roll and all that sort of stuff, and I realized that there were actually some cards that had some decent value, uh, and this was one of them. So I ended up messaging the Double Coverage boys, uh, and then you know, it was actually one of, uh, I think it was Dom's cousin who actually owned this card, and we worked out a deal, uh, again, adding to the Cat stuff as well. I think I was willing to splurge a little bit more because I put some money on Cat to, to win the three-point shootout, and I was like, you know what, I, I think I deserve to have a nice Cat card as well. So BGS 10, I think they do carry a little bit more of a premium. Being a select die card as well, I, I wouldn't be surprised if this is a pop one. I actually haven't looked it up, uh, but yeah, I really do love this card a lot. So yeah, I'm really happy with this card here. And then yeah, let's move on. So this one here, so uh, shout out to Rodney. Um, massive Shea collector. I actually met him at the Hobby Hangout for the first time. I've been chatting to him for a couple of years on and off, but uh, he had this card that I've been looking for. Uh, it's a massive card. Uh, it's the Noir number 10 patch. This is number 23 out of 40. Again, if you do have any of this set and I don't have it, please hit me up. I will, uh, we can work out a deal. It's it's really a really hard set to find because it is numbered out of 10, but the Shea Gildas Alexander, I knew he had this card. I asked him for it a while back and he wanted a fair trade. Uh, for it, he didn't really want to sell it, so uh, I actually had the Shea Opulence autograph to 25, uh, which I actually traded straight for it, and then he also added in a few cards for that as well. So I, th I, th I thought that was pretty good because I got the Opulence auto actually, uh, I thought, under undervalued, so I was able to trade you know, trade for two things that I actually wanted, which was this beautiful Shea uh, Kildas Alexander Noir number 10 patch. He threw in a Prism base as well, a Cosmic to 100 Revolution rookie, and a Hoops rookie card as well. So, I mean, I'm sort of trading down in a way, but also getting PC stuff and then still getting a nice value card in the Cosmic, which I do love as well. I love Revolution. It's one of my favorite sort of things to collect, especially numbered ones, uh, all the parallels that they have there. All right, so I got this one off the, off the same the same uh, seller. So this one was a, the Anthony Melton lot. I don't mind him as a sneaky player. I have mentioned before as one of my long shots, you know, maybe not this season, but more in the coming seasons. He's a great role player. He's very efficient. He's a great defender. Someone you'd want on your team. Uh, but this one was a $15 lot. It had the Sunburst uh, included in it. Uh, also had a D'Anthony Melton's Premier Silver and then a base and then an auto. So $15 for that I thought was good. I actually kind of bought this more. So this wasn't the main thing I was going for. It was more 
kind of like an add-in to the to the other card that I was purchasing because I wanted to save on shipping. So I got these four included, and this was the main card I was going for. So Calvin Johnson, uh, Blue Prism to one ninety nine, PSA nine. Um, yeah, I, I mean, Calden Johnson's a very interesting one for me. He's very efficient from the three-point line. I think he does have some more, you know, he's got obviously a few more years to develop, but I don't mind taking a play at Calden Johnson. Number to 199, it's, it's the hobby's favorite parallel, almost the, the number to 199 one. So I got this one for $100. So yeah, that was the main one I was going for. I wanted to get a, a sort of nice numbered card of Calden Johnson. I feel like his prices have sort of come down a little bit more with everyone being off the Spurs as well that I was, you know, willing to get a card as well, that price that I sort of wanted. So yeah, number to 199, Calden Johnson there. All right, so this big lot here that you can kind of see in the background lingering around. I'll probably, you know, I'll do this bit first because this one will be a bit easier. Um, but again, another fire sale for the main man, Michael Kim. If you guys watch him on Facebook, do check out his sales. Maybe not when he actually does them because uh, I'll be sniping them. But if you're in them, you know, fair play to you as well. But um, he had a sale uh, and I was able to get some nice cards. So this one was a lot for $150. Aussie, Jaden McDaniels, Immaculate RPA to 49 on card. And it's got a little bit of a patch there. So we can call it an RPA versus an RJA. And then the Isaiah Stewart, one and one, a Panini one um, autograph here, number to 99. So I did speak about Isaiah Stewart last season as someone I did want to buy. So this is probably the nicest card I've actually owner of Isaiah Stewart. So I don't mind it. Um, the Jaden McDaniels, I'll probably just go for a quick flip just to make back that $150. I know the comps are around $250. So yeah, I'll take that one there. Uh, and then to round it off, so this one was interesting. Um, bit of a yeah backstory. So same thing as well, Michael Kim's uh, fire sale. So this one total was $160. There's five different lots here. It ended up being like $30, $30, $20 and all that sort of stuff. Um, he had it in his sales. It's an NBA group, first of all, to, to start off. So when he posts MLB stuff, it's not going to get looked at compared to NBA stuff because that's what everyone's there for. And he had this, he had five MLB lots. I actually got tagged by my man, uh, man Andrew, and he told me, you know, there's some stuff here. And I looked through it, and yeah, five MLB lots had prices on them at thirty dollars, thirty dollars, and all that. Um, and I literally just didn't even. I looked at them like I didn't. I didn't have time to work out comps or anything because I was just like, oh, you know, it's a massive lot. Um, I just put sold on every single lot here. There's five lots, and. Uh, until I actually got it in hand was the first time was I, where I was like, oh, this is how much it's actually worth. So total for the five lots was $160. There are some nice cards here. If you guys are baseball fans, please let me know if there's anyone here that's good in the comments and I will uh, you know, probably sell it off anyways because I'm not a massive baseball fan, but um, I've worked out there are a few nice cards here. So let's start off. I mean, I'm not going to say names because I, again, I'm not a massive baseball fan, but you know, first Bowman Chrome, I know that's a massive thing. And then you've got their autograph. Um, Will Smith, uh, yep, Kristen Page, uh, Freddie Freeman. So there's some nice cards here. It's so hard working out the numbering. I mean, like a purple in, in baseball, purple uh, optic for baseball is number to 45. You know, first Bowman, this was again, I mean, I know those are worth a little bit. TJ White, auto, purple, Panzini, uh, and it just keeps going. So 160 bucks, I mean, you guys can tell me what you guys think. That's like a quarter of the lot there. <laughs> All right, and we keep going. So CJ Abrams, uh, oh, there were a couple cards here that I know were worth a bit, so I will try and remember which one they were. So I know this one was a little bit, the pens, and it's sort of like a gold, it's the paper version, it's not the chrome version, but it was still worth a little bit. Um, Steinmetz again, Chad Patrick. Okay, so this one I know was 70 to $80 Aussie, so gold chrome refractor, number to 50. Um, yeah, of a, of a, of a, it's a first Bowman as well. So that one was a good one as well. I know there's another one coming up. Ben Kasperius, Chad Patrick. Yep, another Jacob Steinmetz as well. He might be my favorite player. It's a nice looking order. I saw that and I was, I was very intrigued at that. The, uh, the arrow pointing down or the, the V really. Brandon Lowe, uh, Sabato, CJ Abrams, Raphael Devers, uh, Kershaw. Again, Vargas, our man. Some numbered optics. So this one is another one I thought was, a, yeah, I was just going for, but the Vladimir Guerrero, I mean, he was close to getting the MVP for the MLB, so I was able to track that uh, as well. Uh, another auto, another jersey. I know there's one more here coming up. So we have the Austin Wells auto, some more paper. Okay, so this one I know was worth a little bit. It was the Mojo. Not sure, the, I'm out of 99, but I know this one had a bit of a, I think it might have been 50 or 60 dollars so i mean we've got 140 bucks already there made up and then there's another one i'm pretty sure it's coming up the chase petty so this one was 
$110. So we add $110 onto the, the 120, it's $230. So I'm already $70 up off the three cards and it's really just the rest of the cards paying for itself. But yeah, that was an interesting little buy, uh, little buy of, the, of the whole baseball lot. So, I mean, I wouldn't recommend, uh, you know, going into Facebook sales and then buying lots and just commenting sold if you're, if you, um, you know, looking to make some money. But I thought it was worth the risk being that I kind of understand the baseball market. On my eBay store, I have done quite well selling eBay surprisingly in Australia. I didn't realize there was a massive uh, baseball market here in Australia. So um, yeah, was able to get some sales there. And I thought, you know, for the eBay store at the very least, it could be, it could be worth a shot uh, to get some cards. But yeah, that is it for the video. Uh, just going through some cards that I did purchase from the last sort of month in terms of Facebook Australia uh, and the groups on there as well. Uh, I will have a video close coming up of another PSA submission that has come back as well as uh, my ship my cards shipment, which has is, which has about two to, two to three months worth of uh, cards that I haven't well, haven't seen in a while. So if you guys enjoy that sort of content, make sure you do hit the like and subscribe button as always, and I will see you guys all in future videos. Take care.